Okay, so we're going to have a go at doing some uh, marker rendering now on this chair. So what I've done is trace off the original one in pencil. Um, if I was at school, or I, I probably could have photocopied it onto bleedproof paper, but I've just traced it off by hand using a light box and a pencil. Uh, I've got a range of markers here. I've got some light browns. I've got some cold grey, sorry, some warm warm greys, which are kind of a brown looking colour. I've got some cold greys. I've got some violets. Uh, I've also got a purple pencil, a white pencil, and an outliner. So I'm going to have a play around with those and see what this thing comes out looking like. Um, one thing just to remind you of is that we need to observe the light, medium, and dark. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do. I'm going to try and make the top surfaces light, the left surfaces medium, and the right hand surfaces a darker shade. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so this is a very light, um, warm grey. This is a W1. So I'm going to go over the whole of this kind of back area using this one first. I'm going to move quite quickly with it. Just putting down a bit of base colour all around this area. Just to start getting some colour in there. Okay, I'm going to move on now. I'm going to get a bit darker. I'm going to go for a, a 3, W3. And remembering that the light, lightest surface is going to be the top. So I'm going to do that first. So that's as light as we're going to go. Everything else is going to be darker than that now. So this side area, is basically I give that a second coat. And then here, I'm going to find that we go lighter to darker. So because it's a curved surface, the very top of it and the very bottom of it are going to be the darker areas. And this is going to be the same shade as the top there, so we're going to put a second coat on here. Just using them quite quickly, not worrying too much. And we're going to do that. So, I'm going to step up now and I'm going to go darker. So, now I've got a W5 and I'm going to do the darker bits with that. So I know that the right hand side is going to be darker again. So we're going to darken that up. I'm using the chisel bit and I'm going quite quickly here. I'm just moving the page around to suit what I'm doing. Now here on the corner is where it's going to go from light to dark as it goes around there. I know that the bottom edges here are going to be darker and the top edges here are going to be darker because this is a curve. Okay, beginning to get there. Going to go even darker again now and go for the. This one is a W7. This is the darkest of the warms. So, this front bit here now is going to be the darkest colour. And the bottoms here, I'm going to use the sharp part of the chisel nib just to add darkness to the very crease here because we know that's where the, the bend of the light is going to come round. And that's probably okay for that. Now if I want to, I can come back to my one and give it a bit of an overcoat. I can even use, if I want to now, the brush nib just to kind of blend it in a little bit more. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. I think I'm going to do next, I'm going to do my tubular metal. Now, ideally, I would be using um, a cold 3 or a cold 5. I've only got a cold 7, and I've got a BV23, which is another sort of lightish grey looking colour. So this time I might use the, um, the brush part. While I'm playing around, I might make the armrests a bit of a different colour to make them stand out a little bit. So we're going to go for the same thing, we're going to try and do a light surface on top and we're going to try and make it darker on the sides, so a few more coats and it's going to be even darker at the front. Now if I can't get it darker with a pen, I'm not that bothered, I'm going to darken it up in a moment, I'll show you a few tricks. One of them is to go over the top with a BV. Now these come in different numbers, this is a BV 
two, that's slightly darker. So I'm going to go over the side bit. And I'm also going to do the front. I'm going to put more coats on the front part. Now, where the tubular metal is, I need to try and do a bit of shading on there. So, same thing, I'm going to look at the light, medium and dark. Now, on curved surfaces, there's going to be a part that faces the, the light, which is going to be lighter, and there's going to be a part as it bends around that are darker. So, I've got my C7 now, my darker one, and I'm going to go on the edges, on the outside edges, and I'm going to darken them up. And we just play around with it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the coloured pencils and I'm going to put anywhere where I think there's a bit of extra dark that I'm not showing, or I haven't shown enough with the markers. I'm going to do that and darken it up just with a purple pencil. I'm going to blend a little bit on the outsides here, possibly a little bit as it comes through under here. Add a bit of shade to it and then the white so the white's going to show me where the metal is going to going to be the brightest so definitely on top surfaces that will be where the light catches it the most up here but it'll also catch along here and along here so they're kind of like the top surfaces of the metal now you would see a little bit there but the shadow of the chair itself would probably stop it Okay, the last thing that I'm going to do is just I'm going to outline again now with my, uh, my marker. But I've also got a, a thicker marker as well, which I may use to do some of the outside edges. And you'll see what that looks like in a minute. Okay, and I think that I'm going to leave it at that for the moment. The only other thing I might do is just put a little bit of white just on the armrests to make them lighten up a little bit, show a bit of light reflected, but um, I think that's pretty good.